hello guys it's good morning how are you guys doing as you can see i just received the package and it's, it's a pair of sheets that i got from sunglasses Bana. because of the fact that i'm always in front of the screen it's either i'm working on my school paper or i am editing my youtube videos or i'm just you know scrolling away <laughs> on the streets of the internet so i decided that i was going to get uva glasses that would protect my eyes against the rays coming from um, the screens that i always use so let's unbox it together and see what it looks like So guys, this is what it looks like. Very clear. I don't feel anything. It doesn't feel like I am wearing anything on my face because it's very light. Yeah, very lightweight and it's made of plastic, not glass. So let's see how it goes. I always develop this very heavy headache each time I'm done using the screen. So... Let's see if this is going to cut that or kind of reduce <laughs> the effect that it has on me. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, guys. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Long time, no toilet video. <laughs> so, I'm all dressed up to go to school. We are gradually approaching the end of the semester and yeah this is my fit for the day i'm wearing this top from zara and you all know these pants it's from Asus. and i just decided to do this minimalist makeup i don't know who asked me so but i feel like it's fine yeah. what do you think i put on some blush and then my eye mascara and lined my lips with a dark shade of eye, um, eye pencil and then put on my lipstick and voila nothing else already i have my brows so yeah, so I'm just going to put on my Prada Milano scent. I hear that when you spray it in the air, that it penetrates more than when you put it on the, on the cloth. Let's see. <clears throat> Go, good to go, good to go, good to go, go, babe, go, babe, go, 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 babe, go, babe, go, babe, good to go, good to go, good to go, go, babe, go, babe, Today, what I'm wearing today, <laughs> channeling my inner mojimbo. I don't know what's that, Ken that Kenyan girl's name. All right, guys, talk to you later.
Bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. This smells really good. It smells really spicy and sweet. I think my husband is going to like it. The other options here are Creed, different kinds of Creed, Creed Adventures, but he has this first one already and I don't think we want to, to get Creed anymore this time around. I'll get him something different. This Stormford is also good. Okay, I'm going with it, maybe the smaller one. Oh, thank you. You never tried Lancome skincare? Sorry? You never tried one comes? No, but I use Clarins. So you should definitely try it long for one. Now. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is my favorite cream. It's pink color, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Beautiful packaging, yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, guys. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Happy weekend. So, today I want to go to the fish market or the seafood market to get the things I need for my seafood boy because for a while now i've been craving seafood boy and i called the lady that makes it very well here to ask if she could make it and she said she does not have time because she's fully booked yesterday i thought to myself why don't you make it so i'm going to see if i can if i can get uh the necessary <laughs> condiments and animals that i need to make the seafood boy there is a fish market around or a seafood market around never been there but i'll visit there today to see how things work they open at 9 a.m but it's past 10 now so i'm so sure everybody is out and might i add that this is going to be my first time making a seafood boy so <laughs> i'm going to take you guys along fingers crossed i hope i get the chance and the spirit you know <laughs> i hope i'm hyped as i am now when i am making the seafood boy so i can just get my ring lights and my stand and record the process but yeah we're going to go together um we are gradually approaching uh summer it's spring now but yeah that's why you see me dressed like this so my scarf is from unboxing with ube i loosened my hair and just treated it so i just trained this um head wrap to keep my hair hydrated and moisturized then my glasses from Quer. I, I hope I got it. <laughs> I hope I got the pronunciation. And then my my earrings are from Koi. And uh, this top is from ASOS and the pants I'm wearing. On a good day, you will see the design. It's a very nice design. I can't even wait to rock it well this summer. It's from ASOS also. But this is a two-piece. Well, you know, we, we move things around here, you know. <laughs> so I decided to pair it with the pants. 
never tried it but yeah so far i'm loving it so let's go bye so guys i did not find crabs in this very market but the man i bought prawns from directed me to somewhere else so that's where i'm going to now hopefully i am able to buy crabs because what seafood boy without crab legs like doesn't make sense but yeah let's be hopeful i'm getting tired already i was excited initially but now i'm tired the vibes have gone down i'm tired So guys i'm back and here are the things that i'm going to be using here are the animals this is prawns this is crab and i have my potato and my prawns this is titles fish that I'm, I'm going to make separately for my husband because he loves titles and eggs garlic the spices that i'm going to be using paprika um onion spice habanero spice um fish spice and onion spice i think this is garlic yeah so i have my big pot here i just got it today <laughs> So let's get started on uh, my parsley leaves.
guys oh see my short hair <laughs> my hair has shrunk i feel like it has a lot of water growth all on it and it's gradually transitioning into the natural hair thing <laughs> i just came right here to show you guys what my hair is looking like it's now is when i i started this natural hair journey when like the last time i retouched my hair was in october last year and this is a so we have roughly um october, <laughs> six months is it six months or oh, five months five months because october is the tenth month of the year and we're in the fifth month now so yeah five months so see what is going to turn into now it's short like <laughs> it's short you can tell that the undergrowth all your need are much more than you know the relaxed hair you can see so yeah let's see how it goes <laughs> <laughs> to be honest this is not easy i washed my hair today conditioned okay treated the condition putting put leaving condition and after i put uh one hair cream that i have i think i got it from nigeria this hair food it's really nice i like it it's what has been saving my mom since since 90s <laughs> and i remember using this growing up but now i'm still using it and i also use it on chimney and the father it's very nice because uh, it gives the shiny effect okay guys good night talk to you guys tomorrow bye hello guys good morning how are you guys doing Hope you had a very good night rest as you can see <laughs> i don't know if i had a night rest at all because i was awake the better part of the night well yeah we're awake now again and our guy is sleeping our boss with chimney but it's fine so today i'm going to get a my a chemical peel done i'm going to get this procedure done and i've been following the instructions to not do this to not do that 
continue with this continue with that and today the only thing i applied on my face uh is the sunscreen because it's morning and the sun is out and i'm going to be out yeah so let's see how it goes this is the state of my face currently my face has healed to be honest cut your retinol and sunscreen and ceramide or um, moisturizer because they say it's good for sensitive skin so so yeah up close yeah you can see pimples but they are not much but at least the texture of my face is so let's go let's see how it goes if i'm able to take you guys if i'm able to use my phone during the procedure then i'll take you guys through the process but if i'm not able to do that then we will see the result over time right because i heard that it takes seven to ten days for the whole thing to heal if you have been consistent with retinol and for the past six months i've been using retinol uh judiciously so i hope my healing process is not it's not that long and i hope that it doesn't go wrong also so wish me luck guys and let's let's just go together <laughs> bye guys this is me after the procedure so i did not get the chemical peel done because she said that it's not advisable for me to get it done first seeing that it's my first time so she did a lesser procedure for me and she asked that i come back in two weeks to repeat the same procedure and then after that we can move over to the chemical peel so this is like a skin prep she used glycolic acid and um, there is this itchy agent that she used on my face that made my skin very sensitive and itchy i can't remember but i'll write her so this is how i look 30 minutes after you guys saw me when i was still in there so this is how i look 30 minutes after and she says uh, I have to do this two more times before I can consider getting a chemical peel done so that it doesn't hurt my skin and it does not go bad. You know, chemical peel is a very sensitive and hard procedure. In fact, like the chemicals they use are very hard, and you know, these people are dermatologists, so they give you the best. I didn't even argue i was like okay fine and this um would not require that my skin starts peeling you know so she says after today and tomorrow maybe next tomorrow i am okay i can now start by applying my products but for now i have to stay away from any kind of acids you know so yeah that's that's it basically and this is what we have this is what we have so guys uh talk to you guys later move it now
that's my forfeit <laughs> okay bye hello guys good morning how are you guys doing so this is day two after my procedure it's i told you guys that it's not the kind of procedure that will have your skin peeling off but it's the type that dries up your skin so you need to moisturize all the time and also put on your sunscreen but you don't have to put on any active like vitamin c niacinamide mm, all of those retinoid glycolic acid none just your moisturizer and your spf and you are good please excuse my scattered hair using so this is what my face looks like she says i need two procedures more before we can go back to chemical peel and before the end of the two procedures that i should be able to see visible results and even with this one yeah after two, two weeks so i have hyperpigmentations and that's actually what we're targeting clear all of these and reduce blemishes i hope it works all right guys <clears throat> i don't even know what else to say nothing is happening <laughs> nothing is happening but i will keep coming on here to to talk where we have to and i hope you have a good day today is tuesday by the way so we're not anywhere close to the weekend but i hope you have a good day <laughs> bye uh hello guys we we want to go on a walk now first of all we have a package to pick up from the smart post box that is very close to us so we decided that we're going to walk to the place which they we just want to use the same stone <laughs> to kill the same bed to we want to use one stone to kill two birds that's the idea so i turned on this video to show you guys what my hair looks like to be honest i don't know how you people keep up with natural hair mine has not even fully turned natural this has this is just uh six months right since i relaxed my hair last and i'm going through a lot trying to get my hair together i know that i have a very strong hair but i did not know it was this bad because when i used to relax my hair i don't stay more than three months but this is the sixth month and is it the sixth month it was all um, october last year so um november december january february march april may okay may this is the seventh month oh god i put on a uh, conditioner leave-in conditioner from Cantu and then there is this hair cream that I got from Garnier is a hair butter and also added shea butter and oil just to see if it can you know slick back so I tied my hair <laughs> to hold it together ah, now I want to remove it so that we'll see what is going on down there <laughs> Okay. If I had more time, I would have allowed it to stay more, but my head is already paining me. So I'll take it. I'm I'm just going to take it out like this. Yeah, so this is it. <laughs> this is mm. there's a strand in my mouth. So this is my hair. I wish I can continue. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go out. <laughs> it should be.
Investigator. I'm going to pack it in. Uh, just turn. Exchange my sweets with Dindin's own because his favor is better than mine. Let's see if you can identify which one is so. It is fine. Hello guys, how are you guys doing? So this is three days since I got this facial procedure done and this is how my face looks and she mentioned that i was going to notice some kind of skin scarring like um dryness and also brightness but so far i have not noticed that probably because i've just been following my after care um judiciously so this is what I look like. Just turned up my camera to show you guys. Hello guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? So this is day four uh, since my procedure and this is what my skin looks like. Okay, now I applied sunscreen, so that's why I'm glowing. But yeah, this is what my skin looks like though. Just focus on the fact that the dark spots are clearing and I no longer have pimples. Just these ones that were there before. I don't know. Or they just came out. I don't know. But yeah, you can see that, that you can see that my skin is getting better. So I just clocked in to say yo yo guys. Yo guys. Say hello to the latest clear skinned person in town <laughs> all right guys talk to you guys later bye